What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Brute Bonnet Sun Team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Brute Bonnet, we don't get to see this Pokemon as much as its counterpart, Amoongus. But still, I love Brute Bonnet, and I think it's such a good Pokemon. This Brute Bonnet over here is a Grass and Dark type Pokemon with the Water Terror type. Photosynthesis as ability and it is rocking the Cobra Cloak as item so it can't really be faked out or get any secondary additional effects from moves. This Pokemon's got Taunt, it's got Sucker Punch, it's got Crunch, and obviously it's got Spore to put Pokemon to sleep. We absolutely love Bonnet. But like I said, this is a Sun Team so our restricted Pokemon is going to be Karidon. Karidon's got Oracle Pulse with the Clear Amulet as item, Rocket Protect, Flame Charge for Stab, Damage, and a Speed Boost, and then we got Collision Course and Flare Blitz for Big Time damage and i always say stab damage on fire moves but this pokemon is not a fire type pokemon as much as i think it's a fire type pokemon it's not but it does have the fire terror type so maybe we can make it into a stab move our final four pokemon on today's team feature whimsicott urshfu chiyu and entei whimsicott's going to be a great support pokemon with tailwind chiyu's going to be a big time special attacker urshfu a big time physical attacker with that life orb as item and entei is just a solid pokemon all around with inner focus assault vest Sacred Fire, Snarl, E-Speed, and Stomping Tantrum. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Brute Bonnet Sun Team. We're versing Zamazenta in our first match alongside with Basket Legion and Pelipper, which means a nice little rain squad, or I should say a partial rain squad in match number one. One thing I do wish this team would have had is Sunny Day on Scott, giving us another way to set up the sun, but it doesn't. But to be honest, I still kind of like this Wimscott right here with Encore. Encore can definitely come in clutch, but Zamazenta is going to be a huge start for us. We're going to have to bring in some big time Pokemon, maybe like Urshfu here, especially if they want to set the rain. We could just go into this Urshfu who can really thrive out in the rain. So honestly, I think we lead this Pokemon. Do we lead it? Maybe. We could lead it with Coridon. Mm, I don't really like that too much. I don't really like that too much. I definitely want Urshfu though. Because in case they win the Weather War, we can at least have some value with Urshfu. But if we win the Weather War, our Urshfu will still be fine because we could just go into close combat at that point. But who should we lead here? I'm kind of curious. We could go Brute Bonnet alongside with Coridon. Or I could go Brute Bonnet alongside with Whimsicott. Maybe Spore turn one and then go into like Coridon later, which I actually like a bit better. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that and bring Urshfu in the back end. And I like Brute Bonnet here, considering Sucker Punch is going to be good or any Dark type moves going to be good up against Basket Legion. We can get off some big time damage onto that, especially because I think they are bringing in Basket Legion. I think they have to bring in Pelipper and Basket Legion and then Samusenta, obviously. And last but not least, I don't know who their final Pokemon would be. Not too sure, but if they do lead Samusenta. <clears throat> I might just go into a spore and put that thing to sleep. But they're gonna go Incineroar and Robin, which I don't mind. I got Covert Cloak. They can double fake me out if they want to. Um, and I can just Encore him into Fake Out, so that could be pretty good for us. Might honestly just put Incineroar to sleep here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put Incineroar to sleep. And then just go into a protect into the Wimscott slot because there is a chance that they go for the fake out takeout call with Robin faking out and then Flare Blitzing Incineroar into Wimscott. So I don't mind this. Or they can just go for double fake out and just look to get off some damage and flinches. I like they have a few different options here. But Brute Bonnet has the Curve Cloak, which is good. I'm just going to protect my Wimscott. I'm going to say that fake out goes into that slot. And now they're going to fake out the Brute Bonnet, which we don't, which we don't mind because it's the Cobra Cloak. He's going to U-turn pivot. Oh, wow. That did some nice, nice damage onto me. That did some nice damage. And we'll see who they want to swap into with the U-turn. So we're going to put Incineroar to sleep, which we love. Incineroar is going to go to sleep. We might want to swap out the Brute Bonnet soon because it is minus one on physical attack. And it is a physical attacker. And we could just Encore this Incineroar into Fake Out, right? Hmm. We're going to go into Zamazenta. So Zamazenta comes through here. And what's my play after this? Because this thing, we got to do something about that. We got to do something about that. So they don't have Basket Legion. They, I would think they would have Pelipper as their final Pokemon. We're going to get back a little bit of HP. But I think from here, we really just want to... Actually, we don't even have the Encore here. I think we just set up a Tailwind. And can we Tailwind Spore? I really don't want to be that person. But Spore could really come in clutch for us. Spore could really come in clutch for us. I could honestly just taunt you. 
Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna taunt Zamazenta instead of Spore. And I'm just gonna go into a tailwind and set this up. And we'll see a Terra type pop out here early on. So is this going to be Zamazenta terrestrializing? Yeah, I was gonna say, if they terrestrialize Incineroar early on here. And good thing I didn't Spore, right? I was thinking about doing it. They got a perfect Terra type for Spores. They go into Grass Terra type. We're just gonna taunt it up. We're just gonna taunt him instead of Spore. Good call on our end. Great call on our end. So hopefully no, what is it even called? No iron defense pops out here. Well, we're hoping they go for iron defense because we can just block it. Yep, and they do go for iron defense. And now's a great time for me to just swap out Brute Bonnet here and save it for later, right? Especially in the sun with Protosynthesis, it's a great time for me to swap it out. And honestly, I might double swap. What double swap? Hmm. Now, we're just going to swap into Kavridon here. And I'm just going to start tackling some damage onto this Incineroar. What am I doing? I want to swap into Kavridon. And I want to start chunking up some damage here. Onto you with Moonblast. That's fine by me. Now, could I have encored that thing into Iron Defense while it's taunted? So it has to use Iron Defense and it's just taunted? Is that a thing? I don't think. I think it would fail. I think it would fail, but we're going to go into the sun. This one's going to be a tough matchup for us. I know it is. And Moonblast is going to fly because I feel like they got to bring out Pelipper next turn. So Moonblast doing some nice damage. Body Press is going to fly out here and ooh, chunk up chunk up some damage into me. All right, so if I had to guess, they're probably going into Pelipper, right? They're most likely going into Pelipper here. And the real question is, what do I do? I think I just have to go into a collision course. I mean, I could finish off Incineroar, which is in my best interest. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to start throwing Moon Blasts into Zamazenta slot. Please don't have Pelipper. They definitely have Pelipper. No doubt in my mind they got Pelipper. So we got Sun out. If they don't have Pelipper, that's good news. But I feel like they have to. There's no way they're giving me the Sun that easily. There is no way. So we know they have Rollaboom. They could swap in the Rollaboom if they want to. Another Body Press will cam me, which I don't like. I do not like that. Zamazenta is just an absolute bulk. This thing's just so beefy. It is so beefy. I do have the ghost terror type on my Urshu, which is kind of what I'm saving my terror type for. But he's going to withdraw Zamazenta here, which is honestly fine by me. Going into Pelipper into Zamazenta slot instead of Incineroar. That is fine by me. It's going to rain. We can swap Karate out next turn if we want to. Collision Core should still KO this Incineroar, right? Even without the Sun and the Orcal from Pulse Boost. Yeah, cool. It gets rid of Incineroar. We're going to get back a little bit of HP due to Grassy Terrain. And hopefully we get a special attack drop. That could be really nice for us. That would be really nice for us if we get a special attack drop. Give it to me. Oh, that's some damage. The Fairy Feather does damage. This thing does damage. We do damage here. We do damage here. So, Rillaboom's going to fly out here. Um, do we swap here? I think we do. I think we're, we, we we pretty much just swap here and we just keep sending Moonblast if we can. I'm kind of hoping Rillaboom fakes out. Because, you know, I'd love to just... Uh, I would love to... I don't even know who I swap into here. Do I go Brute Bonnet and sacrifice Brute Bonnet? Most likely, right? Most likely, we just want to sacrifice Brute Bonnet. I could go an Urshfu, which wouldn't, wouldn't be bad. They could go Fake Out Tailwind this turn. No, I want to swap into Brute Bonnet. Oh, man, I messed up. I messed up. We're just going to swap into uh, Urshfu here. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Because if, if you don't fake out the uh, Whimscott, then we just take out the... Uh... Yeah, that works fine. We just take out the Pelper here. Pelper's gone. So now I can fully get out Sun for the rest of the match. Oh, we like this. We like this a lot. We like this. So we're damaging up. They only have Rolboom left. Who I can Encore into fake out now. They still don't know we have Encore. And honestly, I could just keep the rain. The rain might help me. The rain might help me. I do want to terrestrialize our Urshifu here. I definitely want to wrestle our We're going to encore the. Uh, we're going to encore the roll boom. And do I just go close combat? What's my play here? Might just hard swap. 
Do I want a hard swap? What do I want to do here? I really don't want a hard swap and sacrifice my Karadon. I said we just stay in here with Urshfu and try to get off some value here. So I'm going to go into close combat. How much damage is this going to do to Zombicenta? Can we get a crit? What would do more? I definitely want to Rasslash you. I'm going to go into close combat here. I'm going to go close combat into Zombicenta, and I'm just going to Encore this lovely little Robin into Fake Out. They're so not ready for the Encore. That's what I love about Encore is like not using it and waiting for like the perfect time to use it. And that the perfect time is right now. The perfect time is just right now. Especially with a Ghost Terror type. Could really help us out. So playing this one slow. Our opponent actually played this one really well. We just kind of got a little bit of upper hand late in the game. We're going to Encore this boy into Fake Out. You are not allowed to attack me. Leave me alone. Heavy Slam's going to fly into this slot. And you are just going to get rid of Wimscott. So we kind of have to start tackling into our, this roll boom now. And really start getting after it. But he can't body press me, which is great news. You cannot body press me. You can only heavy slam in. And close combat's doing some damage. Close combat's doing some damage. Let's be honest. Close combat's doing some damage, which we love. This thing's forced to go in the fake out for the next two turns. And now we can go into our Karidon. So we got the sun out here. We got rid of Pelipper. Thanks to Wimscott, actually. Wimscott did some big time damage with that fairy feather. I like this Wimscott doing damage like that. And we finally get out the sun. We get weather control. All right. Cool. So from here, I think close combat, we should send it into Roll Boom and honestly, Flare Blitz. Do we think Flare Blitz KOs? I mean, it's super effective. I think it should KO. I might double down in Zombicenta because how many turns do you have left in Encore? Actually, no, I don't want to double down. I really don't want him just protecting and picking up uh, and really getting some help here. Yeah, good call on my end. Good call on my end. I mean, I know Urshfu actually hits through Protects, which is good news. But this is fine by me. This is, this is a fine turn for us. So close combat, life orb gonna slide over to the Rillaboom. A yeah, good thing I didn't double down there. I mean, again, we still would've got off some damage, but I like close combat in this Rillaboom. Who's gonna be encored one more turn? Correct, or is it done? He might be done now. He might be done now. No, he's not. You got one more turn. We love that. Yo, Encore's so nice. It really is. Encore is so nice. And honestly, we should just double down and make sure Zamacenta goes out here. There's no way it goes for double protect. We're doubling right down to Zamacenta now. Doubling down after it. And again, if it does end up landing a protect, at least our Urshfu will still hit through and land a close combat. Look at you. Still going for fake out. I love me some Encore. So, yep, we double down into Zamazenta. Hopefully, this one just KOs and it does. And now close combat can slide over. Finish off today's match. Or not today's match. Our first match. And we pick up a big time win. So, hot start for us with the Brute Bonnet squad. Sporing, taunting, swapping out at the right time. Moonblast picking up KOs. Getting the weather out. We love it. Later, Rillaboom. Want to know to get things started. Match number two on its way, and we're going up against Trick Room and Sun. So, Sun, we actually really like Trick Room. We don't really like that much, but Brute Bonnet could come in clutch here, especially with Taunt. Could really come in clutch here if they want to go into a Trick Room Pokemon. And honestly, I think leading Brute Bonnet into our Karadon could be a pretty decent lead here. We got the Cover Cloak. We got Clear Ammo. I like it, so that's going to be my lead here early on here. In the back end, Chiyu could be good. Especially with Focus Ash and that Dark type to deal with the uh, the Calyrex and the uh, Arm Rouge. I was going to say Amoongus. I couldn't think of his name, but it's Arm Rouge. So I am going to go Chiyu. And last but not least, Urshifu or Ante. They're probably going to have Psychic Terrain out here. We're going to have Sun out for most of the match. Do I really want Urshifu in the Sun? I mean, we used it last time in the Sun. It worked pretty well with close combats. Um, got a lot of Psychic Pokemon too. You know what? I think Entei is a little bit better here, especially with the Assault Vest. Sacred Fire is going to do some damage on the Calyrex. We got Snarl here as well. Can't go wrong with Snarl. I like this lead. I like this squad here. So we're actually bringing almost all... They're all... It's an all Sun kind of team right here. Or Sun kind of four. Which works fine because, again, they had their only weather control is going to be their Torkoal, which is Sun. So we like Sun. So it's all Sun today. It's all Sun in this second match. But who you got cooking here? It's going to be Indeedee. Yeah, it's going to be Indeedee Calyrex. I was going to say Indeedee Armorish. But Indeedee Calyrex works fine. Um, We go into these two. Who do I taunt? Who do I taunt? I mean, follow me can come out here and really just do me dirty, which is a play that I don't like. Um, I doubt they go for Glacial. Do, do they go for Glacial Lance here turn one? There is a possibility. There is a possibility that you do go Glacial Lance here turn one, which is kind of scaring me. Definitely is scaring me. 
Glacial Lance turn one would just pick up a double KO and we be in the dumps. So honestly, terrestrializing into water could be my play. And we could honestly just go for crunch. Look, just KO and DD. Yeah, with the water tower. I'm so in. I'm so in. I'm so in. And if we go for Flare Blitz, we can, we can go from there. I like this. I don't mind this. Um, I really want to go into Taunt or Sword, but again, I think they're going into Follow Me more so than anything. So, since I'm thinking that, I think just attacking is in our best interest. And with this Water Terror type, we might be able... Like, if they get off Trick Room here with Follow Me, which I think they're doing, then I could just protect my crowd on next turn and uh, go from there. But Flare Blitz going to fly here. How much damage is this doing to Indeedy? Indeedy. Decent amount of damage. I mean, Crunch will pick up the KO. Trick Room's got to be popping from... Oh, wow. You took a lot of damage, Recoil and Rocky Helmet. But Crunch will pick up the KO here. Um, Again, I think they're going to go for Trick Room. And in that case, this is where I want to just spore this... Uh, yeah, this Calyrex. So I'm going to protect Karada next turn. I'm going to spore the Calyrex. Put this thing to sleep. I kind of go from there, right? Hmm. I think who they're going to go into. Maybe Torkoal? Rillaboom. Oh, man. One Pokemon we really didn't want them to go into <laughs> would be Rillaboom. Um, huh. What's our player? You got Grassy Seeds, too. That's kind of annoying. You got Fake Out as well. Hopefully, you Fake Out my Brute Bonnet. I really hope that. I really hope you go for Fake Out this turn more than anything. You know what? Now, I'm going to rely on that. I'm going to rely on you going for that. So, you know what? I'm going to Spore the Calyrex. I'm just going to protect Crydon, because hopefully they're going to fake out this turn. That'd be big. That'd be big. We would love for that to happen. They're going to Terrastalize, and I think this is going to be Calyrex. Please don't tell me this is Grass Calyrex. Please don't tell me this is Grass Calyrex. Okay, it's Water. It's Water Calyrex. The nice little Water Calyrex comes out here. We're going to put this thing to sleep, waste out some Trick Room turns, and we're just going to protect the Crydon. Little Protect action. Show me you're going for Fake Out. Let's go. That works fine. We got the Cobra Cloak. We got that Cobra Cloak. Glacial Land's gonna fly here. My Brute Bonnet soaks this. We're gonna put Calyrex to sleep, which is just massive for us. Big time turns for us. Then I might have to swap my Brute Bonnet. Go into a fire type Pokemon. You get a crit too. It's all good. No worries, Brute Bonnet. Night Night Calyrex. So Calyrex is guaranteed to be slumped this next turn. Um, we could just attack the Rillaboom at this point with our Coridon. And swap our Brute Bonnet into Entei? Do you want Entei out here? Or Chiyu? I think we save our Chiyu with the Focus Ash. That can come in clutch. I say we just go into, uh... I say we just go into Entei here. So we're gonna go Entei. We are just gonna go for a Flare Blitz here. Look to KO the Roll Boom. Get it for that way. So, so far, playing really good with this group on it squad. Making good plays, making smart calls here. The Cover Cloak has honestly been so clutch for us. Calyrex's gonna be slumped. Roll Boom, what are you going for? That's my question. We're gonna go for Woodhammer in this That's a great call for us on the swap. Still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Still doing an insane amount of damage. But we pick up the KO on the Rollboom, which is massive. Bye-bye, Rollboom. Get it on at my face. Imagine if Coridon was a Fire-type Pokemon. This thing would be even stronger, because it would get that stab boost with its Fire moves. Like, it still does a ridiculous amount of damage, but it kind of makes sense to not give it a fire type, right? It would be so OP. Same thing with, like, Groudon. Like, if Groudon was Ground and Fire, I feel like it would just be so much stronger. But now comes Torkoal as their final Pokemon. No big deal here. Um, how many turns are left in Trick Room is the real question. Two. So I think Calyrex going to be asleep at least for this one more turn. I think we just start Snarling here. Just to kind of negate some of the damage here on Torkoal. And we go into a Collision Course? Or do we attack Torkoal here? I could protect. I mean, I should protect. We really don't want Torkoal just KOing here. We really don't want Torkoal just KOing. So yeah, you know what? We're going to play this one smart. We're going to go for a Snarl here. And we're just going to go for a Protect on you. I might even go for a Double Protect on Coridon. We just got to waste out some turns. We just have to waste out some turns here. Yep, there's Eruption. Good call on my end. My Entei should soak this. Best it? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, it should soak this. So, yeah. If I didn't Protect my Coridon there, we'd die out. we die out. So, it was honestly a smart call for us. I'm able to go for a Snarl now. Lower Torkoal Special Attack. And I think I should just go for an E-Speed here. Just to deal some damage before we die out here. 
just to deal some damage. And do I go for double protect on Torkoal? Unless, Entei, do you have protect? No. Your best. All right, yeah. So, E speed definitely in our best interest. Who should we really be attacking here? I mean, Torkoal minus one. I think we just go after Calyrex. We're going to go after Calyrex. And I'm going to go for a double protect. Because you most likely die out here. Unless, can you soak? You might be able to soak an eruption. You know, we're going to go for a collision course. We're going to go for a collision course in Torkoal. Just in case Calyrex is still asleep. That'd be nice. So, East Speed doing like negative 5 damage. Eruption going to fly here. Karadon, can you soak this? You do. Show me Calyrex is slumped. No, it's going to wake up. Go for Glacial Lance. Double KO. That hurts a little bit. All right. That hurts just a tad bit. But Trick Room is over. Trick Room is over. This is just a close match. A bit too close. So Torkoal minus one. Not really worried about Torkoal too much because Sun should end, right? I believe Sun is over. So Calyrex is the main threat. Being plus two. The sunlight's gone. I'm not really worried about Torkoal doing, doing big time damage. Calyrex is the main threat. Trick Room gone. Sun's gone. We can go into Brute Bonnet, and we can go into... Honestly, I should just spore the Calyrex. Hate to be that guy, but I should just spore the Calyrex. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. I don't think I'm spore spamming, but we gotta put this Calyrex to sleep. No, you're definitely faster than me. You're like 100 speed. Yeah, 103. That's fine by me. Yeah, we, you're so getting support. We're gonna spore you, and we're just gonna... Go right into Dark Pulses. Just start attacking Calyrex. Nice damage. Spore, Night Night. Gotta do it. Gotta do what we gotta do. And you could have Earth Power here. Now, Earth Power is looking a little scary. Onto Torkoal. But again, Calyrex is a main threat. And you're gonna just erupt again, which is fine. I mean, no sun. You're minus one. We soak rather well. We soak rather well. Calyrex could wake up here, so, I mean, we have to double down into this thing. And Grass is finally gone. Okay, yeah, so we're just gonna double down to Calyrex. Look to just keep getting after it. Go into a Crunch. Go into a Dark Pulse here. Keep attacking this thing, and hopefully just KO it this turn, and then be able to double down into Torkoal, because Torkoal's not really doing that much damage right now. Especially with the typings that we have on the field. So swapping in and out really well this turn. Spore coming up clutch, man. Spore is just one of the best moves in all of Pokemon. It's so good. It's so good, especially on Brute Bonnet, who's a bit faster than most. So when you're going up against Trick Room squads like this after Trick Room ends, you're out speed. You could Spore Spam. I mean, I'm not Spore Spam in this game. I only used it twice. When I had to, though. When I had to. I had to Spore this Calyrex. If not, we lose 100%. Final click Spore twice on this, we lose all day long. It's just giving us a shot. So out comes Dark Pulse. Crunch is going to finish off Calyrex. And... Torkoal sitting here, probably going to erupt again. If I had to guess. Dang, yo, we've been having some good matches today. Eruption comes out here. No crits, right? Cool, my Pokemon survive. I'm going to be able to go for a Dark Pulse and Crunch again. I could Spore him if I want to, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm so not going to do that. I think they canceled the match anyway. I think they canceled the match anyway. But if I did have money on the line, or if this was a tournament, I'm so Sporn in this situation. Right? I'm so spored in this situation. This is like Pokemon World Championships Finals. This dude's getting spored. But Dark Pulse doing an insane amount of damage. We're going to finish him off anyway. There it is. 2-0 winning record so far. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Look to have a, yet another good match. Moving on to our final match. We got ourselves a true test. A heavy meta team with Iron Valiant. They got Fluttermane, Urshifu, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Rollaboom, and Tornadus. That screams meta to me. But one thing that I do realize is their weather control is most likely just into that Tornadus. Probably Rain Dance and that Urshifu is probably water. But we might just want to go into heavy speed here with like Whimsicott or something, right? Whimsicott Chiyu could be a pretty solid lead for us. And I kind of like that. Considering, again, we could just Tailwind. We got Focus Ash. Decent typing on this thing. As long as you don't lead like Flutter Main. I think I like this lead a lot. So I'm going to go into that. I got to bring my Coridon in the back end. And last but not least, do I go Urshifu? I kind of want to, but at the same time, if they bring Rollaboom, that's a little bit of a problem. So maybe we just want to go into Brute Bonnet. I kind of do like Brute Bonnet. I mean, up against Calyrex and Fluttermane, Sucker Punch is going to work wonders. We love a good old Sucker Punch into uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. So Brute Bonnet going to be our final Pokemon. Let's see how we do. We're 2-0 right now. First match was awesome. Second match was awesome. Both opponents were really good. 
we just outplayed him towards like the end. I feel like he could have went like either way, but like we hit like a hump where we just like jumped over him in each match. So I'm hoping this match is kind of the same entertainment wise, right? Because I feel like those were both very entertaining battles. But let's see who they lead. I think it's got to be Tornado's Calyrex, right? And if it is Tornado's Calyrex, I might be upset because I probably should have laid my brute on it. Let's see what you got cooking there. What you got? Fluttermane Tornado's. Okay. Don't like that. Don't like that. Like I said, I, I don't like that. I mean, we can go Tailwind for Tailwind. Um, I might waste out and not go for Tailwind this turn. I might just double down this Fluttermane and hope that they go for Tailwind. I mean, he's going to outspeed me regardless. And yeah, you know what? I'm just going to straight up attack. I got Focus Sash. I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to Heat Wave here. Heat Wave into Moonblast, hoping their Tornadus goes for Tailwind. Right, so we can get that second stagger turn. It's always good to actually stagger the Tailwinds. So I'm going to attack this Fluttermane here. I'm going to hope Tailwind and Dazzling Gleam comes out here. Because Wimscott should be able to eat up a Dazzling Gleam. There's the Tailwind. And I got Focus Sash. So this is actually a decent turn for us. Reading them going into Tailwind. I see we're going to fly here. That's fine. That'd be fine. Wimscott's able to soak. I can Tailwind next turn. And we most likely get rid of Fluttermane here, right? As long as I land my Heat Wave. God forbid I miss my Heat Wave. Let's look how much damage that Moonblast does. And Heat Wave connects. Cool. So we get rid of Fluttermane. And we pick up half damage onto Tornadus. I think that was a pretty good turn for us. And now I can set up a Tailwind. Like I said, having that stagger turn is so well. Because now they're at three turns. We're going to be at four. Once our Tailwind ends, we're going to have one turn left in Tailwind. So that one turn could really be a nice little deciding factor in this match. So Calyrex comes out here. Don't like that too much. Might end up seeing a Terra type here. And now is the time to just set up the Tailwind. So we go Tailwind. Uh, do I just protect this turn? The Terra Ghost, but that doesn't really help. I mean, we might as well throw a Dark Pulse. We might as well force them to Rastalize. I know they're not even going to Rastalize. So we get off this Tailwind. Not too shabby. You could have Drain and Kiss on you, right? You know, for a Pollen Puff. You got a Pollen Puff, really? We're still able to soak that. Bleak Wind Storm going to finish us off. Chi you soaks. Chi you soaks. My dog. My dog. Chi you soaking up all day here. Dog Pulse now can fly. Bop, 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 bop. Bring you down to Focus Ash. Your Focus Ash. And now we can bring out the Brute Bonnet. Sucker Punch. We love Sucker Punch. Let's get a Brute Bonnet. Get on out here. Get on out here, Brute Bonnet. Get on out here. Sucker Punch all day into that slot. And. If we can go for an overheat, I'd love to just pick up a KO onto this thing. But the only way that would happen would be like them missing a Bleak Wind Storm. Not bad for us. Not bad for us. Not bad. The instant's just protected, which is a smart call. I should have terrestrialized my Brute Bonnet. I don't know what I'm doing. I should have thought a little bit more in depth for this one. We should be terrestrializing our Brute Bonnet here. Can you miss a Bleak Wind Storm? Ooh, who, who are you missing? Brute Bonnet. I would love for Chi to dodge that. But. That buys us time. That's fine. We can definitely terrestrialize a group on it now and bring out Karidon. A little bit of Karidon action. So honestly, I mean, looking at this, um, they might swap their Calyrex here. They might swap their Calyrex. Let's be honest here. They might just swap their Calyrex. I feel like they have to swap their Calyrex here. I think we just go crunch in this slot. I think they swap Calyrex. I got Terrasalize though first. I'm going to Terrasalize. I'm going to go after you. And I'm going to go for a Flame Charge and look to KO you. I think they swap Calyrex here. They don't swap Calyrex. This could be tough. We should have just Sucker Punch again. We should have just Sucker Punch again. This still might work out fine. Unless you're going for another Protect. That could be your play. You could be going for another Protect. Rain Dance pops out here. Okay. What are you going for, Calyrex? The Pro Synthesis wears off. Why didn't I just go for Sucker Punch? Oh, it goes for a Disable. I mean, Sucker Punch... Oh, no, dude. That's actually crazy that you have Disable. Good thing we did switch. This actually works fine. This works fine. We get a Speed Boost here. And Crunch is going to pick up the KO, so that's probably so upset. I was reading the swap rather than disable. This thing's got a weird moveset. Pollen Puff, disable? Good call for them to go for disable, though. I actually like that play. But now they're pretty much forced to go into Tailwind. 
And I can just attack. Or I can spore. Let's see who the final Pokemon is. Cool. I was going to say, if it's Rillaboom, it's kind of tough news. But it is going to be Iron Valiant, which I don't mind. So Iron Valiant, we're just going to spore up here. And... Push, of course, not really doing too much. But I do want to spore you. And I kind of just want to start attacking this Tornadus. Start dealing some damage. Hey, going to fire. We're probably going to say bye-bye to Coridon. Let's be honest. Actually, Coridon, do you outspeed this turn? You do. That's good. Because you're probably Moonblasting this thing, KOing that. Can Collision Course KO you? It leaves you on one. That's ugly. That's real ugly. Spirit Breaks gonna KO us. That's four times super effective. Her soul. Luckily, we are Sporn you here. We are Sporn you. So now we're just gonna get rid of Tornadus this turn, and we're gonna make this into a 1v1 situation. A lovely little 1v1. Can the Brute Bonnet win it for us? We could go for Sucker Punch. Oh no, we're disabled Sucker Punch. How dare you? Not cool. We're, we're forced to go in the crunch here. We're gonna finish off Tornadus while Iron Valiant is guaranteed to be asleep this turn. Alright. So Valiant is slumped. Valiant is slumped. You're gonna go for a Bleak Wind Storm. That's gonna land all day. That's why I really wish we could have used Sucker Punch here. And Speed Drop or not, you're gonna outspeed us regardless. So the Speed Drop doesn't matter. So Crunch picks up the KO. Iron Valiant versus Brute Bonnet for the perfect record. Can I pull it off? Can I pull it off? Can I pull it off? <laughs> it's not looking good. It's so not looking good. We definitely gotta go. We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep crunching them, right? Hoping to get the fence drops and then spawn them at the right time. I feel like I have to just spawn them this time, right? Oh my god. Oh my lord, that's so ugly. That is so ugly. You know what? We're gonna go for a spore here. Because I think he's gonna wake up. He doesn't. We could have gotten off Crunch. We, we, we're we're going to have to Spore Spam here. We're going to have to Spore Spam. We're going to lose this match regardless. We have to. We have to. This is bad. This is bad. We're going to another Spore because he's waking up here. How much damage are you doing, though? Valiant hits pretty hard. We're not winning this match. No shot. Spear Break comes through here. How much damage are you doing? You get a crit. Of Why are you getting crits? So our only way to win this here is now... To probably just crunch through, have them to get a three-turn sleep, and us get, like, defense drops at the same time. Pretty much impossible, right? Pretty much impossible. We need crits or defense drops. So we're doing, like, negative five damage this thing. No defense drops. Nothing. Nothing. Going into more crunches. You're asleep. That's his second turn sleep. Give me a defense drop. Something. It's so now We don't even get a defense drop, man. We don't even get a defense drop. This thing did get a, a three-turn sleep. Give me a crit. Something. Nothing. No crit. Defense drop? You might be Cobra Cloaked. I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch now, because I know you're waking up this turn. Bop. And that's gonna be game. So GG to our opponent. Iron Valiant just coming in clutch here. Wish we would have had, like, a grass move or something. Because we probably would have won that, but hey. Root on that, still thriving out in today's video. We go 2 and 1. There it is, another winning record, this time with Brute Bonnet in ranked regulation G. Now, Brute Bonnet was awesome in today's video. We rocked out with taunts, sucker punches, crunches, and spores using all those moves among all three of the battles. And this Pokemon, like I said, just really thrived out, especially with the restricted Pokemon Karadon, giving it a nice little protosynthesis boost. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.